this is all well and good, but as we all know, hydrogen is the future. And now I'm hearing that with, but I'm, I'm not going to replace my gas boiler because I believe it's hydrogen ready. Good on you, mate. I never had that argument, as in I was never on that side of that argument. Right. But I have a bloody good answer to it because I actually happen to run the UK's number one hydrogen fuel cell insulation company. We were you do steam reformation, uh, the gas that separate the uh, four hydrogen molecules from the carbon molecule and run that through a fuel cell to generate, or to no triage, generate electricity and uh, generate around 7,000 kilowatt hours a year and uh, it would um, sort of similar amounts of heat energy for the home. And uh, they were great little units and uh, that's before I moved into heat pumps because I was a heating engineer, maybe a fancy heating engineer eventually and then these hydrogen things. But then I started looking at heat pumps and the new range that were coming out, they reached higher temperatures. I was working on any old home now and I looked at what I was offering and I was like, I can't in good faith stand and look a homeowner in the eye who I care about, genuinely care about my customers and say, this is the best option for you because I'm looking at heat pumps now and I think they're they're it. So anyone that comes to, to me and says, oh, you would say that because you sell heat pumps. Yeah, I sell heat pumps now, but I didn't sell heat pumps before. <laughs> I just saw the light and it's about time you do too, you know. Hydrogen would be the most expensive single thing you could possibly ever do to your house. Even if the boiler was free, it would cost you thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds a month to run because no one's making hydrogen, you know. To make it on that scale, which is just... I really recommend 